hello friends welcome back to all about structural analysis and design so in this particular video i will be showing you how to calculate the materials required for slump cone test so slump cone test is performed to check the workability of fresh concrete and uh, the particular procedure how to conduct slump cone test i will be coming up with the next video so i will be showing the detailed calculation how the material requirement will be calculated as per the slump cone dimension so detailed i will be showing you and the same problem or, or the same quantities i will be taking up to show you the practical demonstration of how the slump cone test will be done practically in the lab tests uh, as well as on the site so before moving on to the calculations so the first important thing you have to remember is the dimensions of the slump cone so the normal slump cone the standard uh, dimensions are so it is nothing but a truncated cone like this so this will be your slump cone apparatus so this will be the first diameter that is d1 and this will be the next second diameter it is d2 and this will be the height of slump cone so the dimensions of the slump cones will be d1 equal to 0.1 meter which is nothing but 10 centimeters uh, i will write down in centimeters also okay so d2 will be 0.2 centimeter uh, 0.2 meters sorry uh, that will become 20 centimeters and the overall height of this slump cone so h is equals to 0 0.3 meters which is nothing but 30 centimeters okay so it is uh, easy to remember also the dimensions so the smaller diameter will be 10 centimeters the next bigger diameter okay the bottom diameter will be 20 centimeters and the overall height will be 30 centimeters so this will be the first step when you uh, do the material calculations to note down the dimensions of the slump cone d1 d2 and h the next thing you have to find out is the area of this uh, by taking this d1 and d2 so i will denote uh, a1 like this and uh, we'll find out the area so pi by 4 d d1 square okay so pi by 4 and d1 is nothing but 0.1 meter so we will be everything taking in meters okay not in centimeters so it comes around 7.854 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square why meter square because this is nothing but area we are finding out next a2 pi by 4 d2 square so pi by 4 d2 is nothing but 0 0.2 meters so it will come around 0. 0314 meter square so now we have got the a1 and a2 now if you go back to your basics the volume of truncated truncated cone now if you go back to your basics the volume of truncated cone so vol volume of truncated cone will be v is equals to h by 3 okay a1 plus a2 plus root of a1 a2 so this is the volume of truncated cone this is nothing but uh, not a perfect cone it is uh, truncated so the volume which we are going to find of this uh, slum cone is similar to the truncated cone therefore we are taking the volume formula of truncated cone h by 3 a1 plus a2 plus root of a1 a2 so now we have to substitute all the things in this particular formula so h is nothing but 0.3 meters so just substitute it so v is equals to 0 0.3 divided by 3 a1 is uh, 7.854 into 10 raised to minus 3 plus uh, 0. 0, 0.314 plus root of 7.854 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 0 0.0314 so when you solve this you will be getting the volume 5.495 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube 
okay so this is the easy step after getting the a1 and a2 so volume we had got 5.495 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube so this is the volume we have got now what the important thing you have to remember is this is the dry volume this is not a volume after uh, adding the water so i will uh, explain it in a better way so suppose if it is your uh, bread slice okay so which is completely dry and if you add water into it so the volume shrinks like this if you add water it shrinks so similar way your concrete also will shrink when you add your uh, the mixing water so if you take only this volume 5.495 into 10 raised to minus 3 and then if you add mixing water into it and if you try to fill the slump cone so this volume will be less the material calculated will be less and it will not be completely filled filling your slump cone so that's why the basic rule what you have to do is increase the dry volume by 54 percent so that 54 percent will uh, cater your or uh, will cater your demands when the water is added when the mixing water is added into your concrete so increase the dry volume by 54 percent so this is the general rule you have to remember because the when you add the mixing water it absorbs water all the materials will absorb water and the volume which is you which you have calculated will not be sufficient to fill that slump code that's why we increase the dry volume by 54 percent and then proceed the material calculations so after when you add this 54 percent so the new volume will become so v is equals to 5.495 into 10 raised to minus 3 plus 54 percent 0.54 into 5.495 into 10 raised to minus 3 so when you do this you will be getting a new volume after in uh, after adding 54 percent and that will be 8. Point 462 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube so this is the uh, extra volume we had added to cater the demands of uh, mixing water so that you will not uh, fall short of the materials to fill the slump cone while doing the experiment okay i hope uh, this particular uh, uh, step is clear now what you have to do is next you have to fix up your proportion so for this particular uh, demonstration i will be taking the proportion proportion i will be taking is 1 is to 1 is to 2 so then you have to add it total is equals to 1 plus 1 plus 2 it will become 4 now you have to calculate cement sand coarse aggregate and water content now the first i will be calculating is cement content so before finding out cement content we should find out cement volume how much it is required so cement volume is equals to so this total volume you have to take so this one the one which you have calculated by adding 54 percent so 8.462 into 10 raised to minus 3 so this total proportion which is nothing but 4 okay into now in this how much is the cement proportion cement proportion is nothing but one so it becomes one so for uh, you don't get confused because this will be your uh, cement this will be your fine aggregates and this will be your coarse aggregates so now uh, you are finding out the cement volume that's why you are multiplying by one and this denominator will be the total proportion one plus one plus Two. if it is one plus one is to three is to six or one is to two is to three anything you have to add it and you have to take it in denominator and when you multiply and that that multiplication factor should be the corresponding uh, ingredient so for this it is cement one so i have multiplied by one so this volume will uh, be uh, worked out as 2.115 into 
into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube so this is the only cement volume okay now if you want to convert it into weight that is in kg you have to multiply it by density of cement so now cement density is taken as 1440 kg per meter cube so 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 this is the uh, cement density which will be taking into the considerations so therefore cement equals to 2.115 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 1440 so then you will be getting this cement content so it comes out to be 3.045 kgs so this is so this much of cement you require for that slum cone test for the proportion 1 is to 1 is to 2 now similar way fine aggregates you have to find out so again same volume you have to take 8.462 into 10 raised to minus 3 the total proportion was 4 and also the uh, fine aggregate proportion is 1 okay so why 1 because it is 1 is to 1 is to 2 so it comes out again 1 2.115 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube then fine aggregate density is equals to 1600 kg per meter cube we take it therefore fine aggregate will become 2.115 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 1600 so fine aggregate you require after working out this it comes around 3.384 kg so this is the uh, sand or fine aggregate you require for the test and the last will be coarse aggregate volume so again the total pro volume 8.462 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 4 into 2 now why 2 because it is the proportion 1 is to 1 is to 2 and that 2 is nothing but the proportion of coarse aggregates and this works out to be 4.231 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube now coarse aggregate density is taken as 1800 kg per meter cube therefore coarse aggregate equals to 4.231 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 1800 so coarse aggregate will be uh, 7.61 Kgs. So this much of coarse aggregate you require and after this you require the water content. So now for this particular uh, operation we will take it water cement ratio is equals to 0.48 therefore water is equals to 0.48 into C. So W is equals to 0 0.48 into the cement content. So cement content, how much we had got? It is 3.045 kgs or 3045 grams. So 3045 grams. So this water content will come uh, 1462 ml. So this is how you calculate the materials required for your slump cone test so with this particular uh, amount of uh, materials i will be doing the slump cone test in uh, laboratory that will be so that will be the next video okay uh, and we will check out how much slump this particular proportion with this water cement ratio how much slump we can achieve thank you friends